Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a really cool video today. We're looking at the Iron Maiden Funko NFT digital pop cards. These on the digital blockchain through Wax, available on the 30th of September. They were coming in at $10 a pack for a five pack, and then they had the mega packs for $29. Looking here at what you can get in the pack, some really cool looking ones. Commons, 51% chance, you're pretty much guaranteed those. Uncommons here at 28%, and then you got your rares coming in at just 14% chance of getting a rare in a pack. And uh, yeah, just look at how cool those are. The animations on them really look good. Epics, 5% chance. So that's like really rare. You're looking at one in 20 packs. And then moving on to legendary. This is where you can get a physical pop. Uh, they will mail you a pop if you pull one of those. But that is very slim pickings right there. And then the ultra, the grail, 0.3% chance that's like one in 250 packs that's insane and there's a look at what the packs look like got the token head logo on there I use token head to manage all my nfts so we're looking here so it's showing there's going to be 18,000 regular packs and 6,000 premium packs so 24,000 packs total but you can get up to three common packs so if everybody did that you're only looking at 12,000 packs total now here we go we're looking at the actual day of the drop here and the website of what it looks like here i joined the queue uh to get in line and once 11 o'clock my time rolled around it put me in a queue i ended up being number 22,000. so i figured honestly i figured i was just out of scope but I waited it out. I somehow managed to get in there at the very end and I secured three packs. I couldn't believe it. And here we go. We're going to jump right in into it and try to open this first pack. But we got the dreaded login information needs to be redone right here. You can see trying to do it again. And what is happening? It like totally glitched out. Tried running through another browser, refreshing it. Couldn't figure out what was going on. My cards were gone. Well, basically not gone, but already opened and I didn't get to see it. So I was pretty pissed off about that. Trying to open the next pack. We're going to do this all over again. Looks like, you know, have to re-log it again. Oh, what do you know? Error message. We do it all over again. We come back to the screen and what do you know? My pack is already gone again. So we go here. We're going to go into uh, our Wax wallet uh, and just check out and see if it shows it in their inventory and here it should be popping up yep in nft inventory here so here's what we got out of the first two packs here we go we got a killer's eddie common numbered 108 low serial number out of 5133 at the time knights of dead eddie got an uncommon there love these like these are really really cool looking here Iron Maiden Eddie is another common. And what? What is that? I got a physical redemption in the first pack. Like, oh, I can't believe it. That is so sick. Looks like Night King, but is the Seventh Son Eddie legendary physical pop redemption in my very first pack for $10. Insane odds. It's less than 1%. It was 0.9% chance of getting that. Goodness, I can't believe it. Like, I'm so happy, so happy. Then you can see there we got another Killer's Eddie and then this really cool uh, Funko token coin. And then we're going on to the next pack here. Common Life After Death Eddie. You can see number 664, almost 666 would have been dope. Another coin there. Uh, but actually, I'm going to give props to my wife because she's the one that opened the pack or picked that pack to open first. And she's taking credit for it, so I will give her the credit. Congratulations on the physical pop pool. Uh, going through here, like I said, just kind of scrolling. I was uh, kind of just really excited after that and kind of just scrolled through the rest of the guys. And it's like, well, if it's not ultra, then, you know, I'm, I don't know. It's not that exciting. So we go to open the third pack and it's BS again. I couldn't see what happened. So I had to go in here and here's a look at what I got. We got a common killer's Eddie. And then what's this? Something else? An epic? Oh my God, number 688, an epic Freddy Funko. And you can see there, I screenshotted it because I was super excited. This friggin' little cyborg Freddy Funko is dope as f 
anyway, I love it. It's super dope. And that one's really cool. The life after death Eddie there. And then there's the seventh son Eddie popping back to this guy. I got to look at it a little closer. He is so freaking cool. Like I like at first when I saw it, I thought it was another physical pop redemption. I thought it was the grail. It wasn't, but still the epics are super hard to get. Um, like honestly so cool you can see there print run 2430 at the time and here is just a quick view of all my inventory of all the nfts i got you can see the little squares and orange there if i got a double it has like the little two otherwise it just shows you the mint number there uh out of what it is minted at the time and the mint numbers are totally random uh, in the packs, even though like I got some of the last packs, they weren't numbered the last packs and all the mint numbers in there are all random as well. Whew. All right. Well, I feel like I had to really rush through that because uh, I was just talking over the content that I had previously recorded. But uh, I just want to touch on a couple more things again, going back to the issues with the packs, um, issues opening them. I... I was so I was opening them on my phone, uh, Galaxy S9. It is a little older Galaxy. Um, yes, I know it's outdated, and I need a new phone, but it serves me well, and I love it, so I'm still using it. But anyways, uh, have noticed issues opening NFT packs before on my phone. Uh, sometimes I've tried using different browsers. Um, I've tried a couple different ways and sometimes it works and sometimes it gets a little glitchy. I've had it happen with NBA Top Shot and Garbage Pail Kids, Godzilla. Um, I suggest, you know, because most of it's like the entertainment of watching the pack open, which is really cool. So, you know, if you're a fan of that like me, you definitely, if you can, do it on a PC just so you get the full experience of opening the pack and seeing the cards pop out instead of having to go to your wax wallet afterwards and seeing what you got. Uh, next again, I just want to touch base again on the whole uh, way of purchasing them. So if you got to the website within about, you can get in there early, but you can get in there, I mean, literally with up to minutes. Uh, right before the drop, you get in a queue, <clears throat> and then when the time hits, everybody who's in queue gets assigned a random number, and that determines your spot in line. Now, I know some people on the Discord were saying they were able to get through, buy stuff, and get right back through again. Um, so there goes some packs. Like I said, I, I can't even you know believe that I was able to get any when I did, so I'm super grateful i um, super grateful to get what I did in the packs. Next up, uh, the physical pop redemption. So I want to say it's like a month or two down the road. People who got a physical pop redemption NFT will get a uh, token. And basically whoever's account it's in, they will see that. And you'll be able to redeem that to get your physical pop. So I will definitely make a video on that later and kind of go over how that process works once I do go through it. <clears throat> um, there's also, besides just getting the epic and, or not epic, the legendary and the grail, uh, there's also one you can get if you complete the whole set. And it looks like the commons and uncommons are pretty cheap. So uh, depending on how much all like the rares and like epics are, uh, I might look into trying to get the whole set just to get that other physical pop too. I think that'd be pretty cool. Then uh, next, I just want to do something kind of fun. If you're still watching the video and you have a wax wallet and you're into NFTs, drop a comment right now what your wax wallet address is in the comments. And uh, I'm going to select a couple people and you may just receive something random from me at any time. Who knows, it could be a Garbage Pail Kid NFT, it could be a custom NFT that I've done, it could be an Iron Maiden NFT. Who knows? But if you want a shot, drop a comment in the comment section, your Wax Wallet address. That is not an email address, that is your Wax Wallet address. If you're into NFTs, then you know what I'm talking about. But that's about all I got for you guys this time. So if you guys like the video, drop a like on that like button. Leave a comment, even if you don't have a wax wallet and don't want a free NFT shot. Drop a comment, tell me what you think. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. 
and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!